Hi guys, so I had Ronald Knight as my first case study. He is a 60 year old male who recently has been receiving dialysis treatment in a nephrology clinic in Wayne County. This clinic, from what I read in my case study, is a very close-knit community. Um, all the disciplines are very close with one another and they kind of grieve and celebrate success together and I am the only OT in this clinic. Um, a little bit about Ronald. So he's 60 years old and he's a retired real estate agent. His wife, Jenna, is very supportive and is at almost all of her treatments or all of his treatments, but she's also a school psychologist, so she sometimes cannot make it to all of them. Um, he has two kids that are very nearby and they come and visit him frequently. He also has a degree in accounting, which he hasn't used in quite a few years, but that helped him a little bit with his real estate job. Um, he enjoys tinkering with his vintage cars, playing golf, gardening, doing activities with his wife, and also helping her maintain their home. He has two grandchildren also, and they are very important to him in his life. He's always going to their sporting events and supporting them in any way possible. So about Ron's diagnosis, he was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes when he was 10, and he's been managing that with his doctor and changing his like insulin levels. And he also got an insulin pump when he was 40. Um, due to his diabetes, he has peripheral neuropathy and diabetic retinopathy. Um, he has reduced sensation in his hands and feet and often cannot stand for long periods of time or gets tired very, very easily. Um, he can't see the greatest. I mean, it's okay, but... He has difficulty with like small print, tiny things and reading them. He has had two hospitalizations due to serious infections in his left foot. And he also had to give up driving because of his vision and safety hazards. He recently has been told that he is having kidney failure, which is why he's at dialysis. Um, he gets this dialysis treatment three times a week and it's about four hours roughly to complete and again his wife is usually there and she's very active in the therapy sessions and she is very eager to learn how she can help Ron at home and how the grandkids and his children can be incorporated into therapy sessions. Okay so I decided that most likely Ron would be receiving his dialysis treatments in his home due to coronavirus. So I decided that we could kind of incorporate maybe some activities that had like his wife in them. So I found this John Deere Uno at my house. Surprise, surprise, it's John Deere. And so I figured that since he has kind of like low vision, can't really read small print, um, he could play this. But instead of using the numbers, he could just use the colors so, like the green, the red, the yellow. Um, and if he really wanted to, he could get out his magnifying glass and use that to help him see the numbers so then he would be playing correctly. And he could do this activity with his wife or even with his grandchildren. I don't really know if he'd be seeing them a lot due to this, but he could incorporate them into it somehow and just kind of increase his social participation with them. My next activity for Ron that he could do um, is this little box that I found. You put the change in this large hole in the top and once it is filled to the top with change you go do whatever you want with it. So I figured that Ron could do this with his wife. It could kind of be an activity they do and he could just take the loose change he has in his pockets or whatever and drop it in there. And I mean, like, it's a pretty big hole, so he'll be able to see it. And this works on his fine motor coordination, as well as kind of tests his eyes a little bit and make sure that he's seeing the hole, getting them in correctly. Um, he really enjoys hanging out with his wife, obviously, but they, due to all of his medical diagnosis, they've kind of been unable to, like, go out to dinner or go traveling and do the stuff that they used to really do. So I figured that maybe, like, once this box gets filled up, what they could do is they could have like a takeout dinner since we can't really go out to eat and they could get it like a really fancy one at like a fancy restaurant and that could be like their achievement after filling this box.
my third activity for Ron is headbands. Um, I don't know if any of you have played this game before, but so I figured that he could even do this with his grandkids like over FaceTime even and just kind of increase their participation since he's probably really missing them since he can't see them. So what you do is you kind of just put this thing on your head like this and then these cards all have like different sayings on them so and they're pretty big so he should be able to read them. And so you just pick one, like this one, and you put it on your head. And then you just ask, so like, am I a person? Am I a place? Like, whatever. And the group that you're playing with tells you your yes or no answers. And he could do this with his kids. Even if they don't have this game, um, you could just take, like, a headband and a piece of paper and, like, stuff it in the top. So this could be done over FaceTime. That way he's really, like, still being able to see them since he's not allowed to really like go out of his house and go to their sporting events or anything at this time. So my fourth activity that I found in my home for Ron is painting. So I found this little canvas that I had and then some paint brushes of all different sizes. And they actually, some of them are like the triangular, I don't know if you can really see, but they're triangular shaped, so it'll be kind of easier for him to grasp and work on his like grip strength since he does really have like low sensation in his hands. Um, and even so, he could like finger paint if he wanted to. I don't really know if he'd like to do that, but. And then I found all these different paints too. So I was thinking that maybe since he does enjoy like gardening, golfing, playing with his cars and stuff, he could maybe try to paint one on this canvas. I mean, if it doesn't come out great, like, it's fine. And he could maybe, like, give it to his wife as a present for, like, their anniversary. Or maybe he could paint, like, a flower for her. Or just something like that. So, yeah, that was my fourth activity. Okay, so my last thing that I found for Ronald to do is probably my favorite out of all of this. And I think it also might be his favorite since he really does like love gardening with his wife and maintaining their home and just like being as big of a role as a family member as he can. I found this pot, which already has some dirt in it. And I also have this soil and a little shovel, which I'm assuming he has at home. And then you can't really see them, but there's little seeds in there that I just got off the top of an old plant and I'm going to try to repot it and to see how it turns out so I'll let you guys know but so I just figured that Ron could do this and this could even incorporate his wife and they could kind of like plant a new plant together watch it grow it could kind of be like a cute little thing that they do and when it's done maybe they could like take the little seeds off the top of it again and do the same thing the next year and just like keep progressing and doing this throughout their life just to keep them kind of like close with one another, doing activities they love since Ron really isn't able to do a whole lot anymore. And yeah, so that was my five different things that I decided to do with Ron. Um, I tried to keep them really focused on him and what he liked to do since he is going to be cooped up in the house, not really getting out and doing things. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it.